Pat Van Wismel, Chief Executive of Eurit. You're the domain name organization that's uh, operating within the EU space. Now, there's a lot going on in the internet space at the moment relating to the size of the internet. Can you talk us through a bit of the background? What's happening at the moment? What are you interested in? Well, uh the .eu is, uh, is a domain name, is it an extension uh, like uh, any other uh, country code domain names uh, like, uh, or country code extensions like .nl, .co.uk, .de from Germany. And um, so it's basically a place or an, an extension with which you can uh, present yourself on the internet uh, with your domain name, with your, con with your product name or with your um, uh, company name mm -hmm. and stand out uh, to do business on the internet. Internet. What do you think is the, the value added between a country code, for example, .fr, and a .eu? Well, the .fr typically is something that you would use if you are a French company and do business in France. If you want to show your customer base that you are doing business in the whole of Europe, typically you would use a .eu. And uh, what you see uh, for the moment is that, for instance, transport companies typically are moving towards the .eu because they want to show that they are not driving locally, but that they are really covering the whole of Europe. So that's really an added value for them. And of course, .eu has uh, in the meantime become something uh, like a quality label because it's, um, it's new, it's not everybody has it and it's, um, it's less used by crime, by e-crime uh, e people. So it's really a quality label that also companies uh, want to use as a way to stand out. That's interesting. So you think there's almost a, a brand power to .eu at the moment. Is that what you're suggesting? Absolutely. We, we really want to position .eu as a, as a brand. And if we had done some market research, and that shows that .eu is seen as trustworthy, as innovative, as uh, secure. So these are the things that we really want to stress when we position the .eu towards the market. Okay, now one of the, I guess one of the criticisms of Eurid is that there's over 3 million domains currently registered, but there's a lot less than that, significantly less, that are actually websites and successful sites. What do you think can be done to turn this around and make, Euro, uh, make .eu much more used? Well, first of all, it's, uh, we have done some research and uh, more than 80% have a website linked to the domain name, so that's not, uh, not so, so little. And uh, we have compared also the usage of domain names uh, compared to uh, .com, to .NET and to uh, some of the T CCTLDs, the country code TLDs. Now, that uh, shows that .eu has um, a significant number, uh, percentage uh, that is uh, business websites that is higher than in .com, for instance. Now, in, it is true with uh, .com has 80 million domain names, .eu has 3.2 million domain names, so you see less in the, uh, domain names in the street, but they, they are really used. And uh, more and more, as it becomes a quality label as it will be uh, used by people who take it up you will see it more and more and one of the the very important aspects is that the more you see it the more people want it the more they want to use it and the more you will see it it's a snowball of growth really isn't it do you uh, are you setting targets as to how many actual domains in use you're, you're hoping to see in the next few years what are you, what are you focusing on well, we are focusing on the fact that, we, that now the .eu should be seen more in the market uh, or in the streets. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are we doing for that? We are, um, we are doing things like we're doing tonight. We are, put, we are showing the companies. We are, um, we are um, bringing the companies that use their .eu in, uh, in the picture. We have a magazine that shows uh, good use of .eu. And uh, these are the kind of things that help for other people to follow that example. And that is uh, one of the, 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 the parts we are following. Now, it's interesting you mentioned this evening's event. There's five companies that are here to talk, small businesses here to talk about their use of URID. What sort of things are we expecting to hear from them? Well, we, first of all, we, so if we try to find some uh, small companies so that they can uh, testify why they, cho they chose .eu. And they chose it because they want to show that they are not just local, but uh, indeed European. Mm -hmm. We chose them from different areas. We have a consultant company. We have a, a sports. Uh, we have the D Dinamo Riga, uh, uh, an ice hockey team. We have a um, fashion shop. So we have, a, we have a, even... Um, an online uh, company, a uh, domain name company. So these are the kinds of, uh, of, of companies that really have found the, uh, the value in the .eu and they will tell you why they, why they have done so. And the, the, the biggest reason is, of course, because they want to show that they are present in the whole of Europe. Mark, thank you very much for your time this evening.